of darkness. The sin of Cain has spawned the cursed horror that stalks the night in search of living blood. The kindred have long been a secret influence through all ages of human history, plotting against each other in a never-ending jihad. Their immortal progeny are among us to this day, hidden from the eyes of humanity by an elaborate masquerade. Hello there, this is Vampirium, back with the little LP that I kind of abandoned a while back. I'm getting back into Vampire the Masquerade Redemption and hopefully this time I'll actually finish the damn thing. Alright, let's get right to it. None of these things are very... well, multiplayer is usually used for, you know, RPing, but we're not going to be doing a roleplay job here. Uh, let's do a new game, obviously. Yes, this operation will overwrite your previous autosave. Who cares? Let's just watch the FMV. My name is Christoph Rumble. I am a man of God, and a soldier in Heaven's cause. Grievous wound and must rest. I must return to my. Oh, my Lord, peace, I beg thee. Thy brave captain left a letter before thy sword brethren continued on their crusade. I thank thee for this news, my lady, and for thy care. Surely thou hast drawn me back from the jaws of death itself. Twas the Lord that saw fit to spare thy life. We humble sisters simply attended thee. Oh, Sister Ineska is too modest. She ministered to thy shattered body day and night, long after all others had given up hope. She did indeed restore thy life. I am Archbishop Giza. Thou hast done great service for Christendom, young sir. Tonight I shall make prayers of thanksgiving that thou live, and may send more sinners to hell. I offer thee all my gratitude for thy service. I am in thy debt. The rosy life in thy cheek is payment enough. And that is that. And here's Christoph Romano right here, taking a little bit of a rest. But wait, someone's screaming! And there's conveniently a sword right there by his bed, even though it's really not a good idea for him to be up right now. Why the hell not? Let's. He's grievously wounded and shit like that, right? It's a good idea for him to be fighting these things, right? Well... We're kind of forced to. We got Jalakta over here. We'll be fighting these a lot throughout the game. They're not really that hard. There's your basic fucking, you know, Christa, grunt mob. Nay, tis nothing. A scratch. 
Yep, it's nothing but a scratch, but ex except you kind of felt down there on the floor there. Just letting you know. The mighty walls of Prague once held all demons at bay, but the Schlachter have overtaken a silver mine to the east. With a haven so close to the city, they boldly walk the streets by night to kill. And worse than kill. Many have been dragged alive from their homes for some unspeakable purpose. I will never let them take thee. Oh, sir. Alright, so we just got wounded very badly on the battlefield. Came here, it's getting taken care of. He's still wounded. He just collapsed on the floor fighting Zlakta. You know what? We're crazy. We're gonna go venture into the silver mine and kill those fucking vermin. Yeah. Tomorrow, I shall venture into the silver mine and flush the vermin from their holes. Thou must not. My wound is too great. Nay, I am resolved. They will pay in blood for the fright they have given thee. Oh, sir, should they harm thee, my heart... Come away, Ineska. Thou hast wasted enough of good Sir Christoph's time with thy idle chatter. Christoph, the Lord smiles upon thy wrath. I shall pray for thy victory. I shall not fail. I smell a little bit of a love interest here. You'll find out later. Anyway, <clears throat> here's your vault. He you put items in there that you want to store, that you don't want to keep in your tiny inventory here. Yes, this is very Diablo-esque, but that's how this game works. Anyway, this is a save point. You actually used to have to save in these save points, and they're very rare. Yeah, these these save points only have are around in safe areas, and there aren't that many in this game. But yeah, we have a letter that was handed to us. Remember that letter we got in the FMV? Yeah, it's right here. Let us take a look at it. My good kinsman Christoph, thy bravery carried the day in the Battle of the Moravian Hills. Thy sword brethren crush the pagan barbarians and now chase their scattered hordes into eastern Hungary. Once the last of the heathens are routed, our garrison shall return to Prague, and thou mayst rejoin our ranks. Until then, the tender ministrations of the holy sisters shall revive thee, if it be God's will that thou outlive thy wound. Thy fellow sword brethren pray for thy swift recovery, for they cannot allow thee to ripe and rot in decadent luxury whilst they sacrifice themselves. Perhaps thou canst make thy sword arm useful to good Archbishop Giza until such time as we return to collect thee. May the tidings of the Lord be upon thee, Sir Cuthbert. Wonderful. Apparently he does not want us to rot and become a lazy bass bastard. You see this thing flashing here? It's your quest log. Not very useful. It just tells you generally what the hell's up. Not very helpful at all. Alright. Now we have our character pain. Yeah. Somehow we have a night. Oh yeah, we flat locked up. Hey, apparently you have short term memory loss. Who cares? Yeah, we'll be dealing with this a little bit later. And then, yeah, you've seen the inventory. Discipline pain. Ooh, spoilers for anyone who knows what Vampire the Masquerade's all about. And then, there's a map. We're in Prague. Hometown of Prague. Yay, we have dots. Not very useful if you really know what the hell you're doing. Uh, I didn't use this that much. Anyway, but here's a general layout of the place, I suppose. This is, uh, yeah, actually, this is going to be the place we'll be going to really soon, and this is the gate to get there. Anyway, enough of looking at a map, let's actually push forward. Yes. Oh, sir, I pray for thy safety on so perilous a journey. Don't worry, Inezka, I'll be back. The cheerful daylight world belies the horrors that prowl by night. 
How can the good people of Prague go about their business with such evil abroad in the land? Oh, probably because they are ignorant of the evil abroad in the land. Just an idea. Okay, so when it, well, actually, let's let's get back to those in a minute. Actually, there's a little scene in here to look at first. God save and protect thee, his soldier, his wrath and vengeance. Yep, that's all you have to say to us. We will we'll be back there in a bit. Anyway, barrels. When I was test recording this. A couple days ago. See, these barrels are supposed to give you items when you crush them, right? See, this happened on almost, like, I think they only got healing items from them. See, I think this is going to be a repeat of the test recording. Huh. Anyway, enough of that for now. Actually, we'll be bashing. That's actually our first order of business to bash the barrels and see if we can get items from them. First, let's talk to these dudes. Hail and well met, Crusader. Hail and well met to thee, Knights of St. John. Tis good to hear the voice of a fellow Frenchman. We Knights of St. John are far from home, and I would we were back in France. Say not so. We should gladly go to the ends of the earth in service to our Lord. Good day to thee. You cunt. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely trained not to be lazy bastards, but, you know, those two. Well, well Kristoff isn't really a lazy bastard. You'll see what happens to him later. Anyway, we're on a barrel hunt, but let's get an item from in here first. Hail, good sir knight, and welcome! They do say you seek to cleanse the minds of evil. Oh, these demons have brought great suffering to the good people of Prague. Our craftsmen have no silver for their wares, and many proud families now beg for their bread. Please, accept all that my humble inn can provide, and the blessings of the Lord be upon your quest. And for our future labor, I suppose he gives us a healing elixir. Yes, that will be useful, although we'll be getting a lot of these in the place we're about to go to. Anyway... Enough of that. We shall go over here and, uh, well, we'll get to the blacksmith soon, but I just want to bash some barrels right now, so just in case there's some items to sell in these barrels, you know? Except they've all been fucking empty. I smell a repeat of the test recording. Yeah. <laughs> Another empty barrel. This is ludicrous. Oh, now I may replace my war weary arm. Don't get too excited yet. We're not gonna be replacing shit with the gold we have. Hey look, we have 50, that's not enough to do a shit. I'm trying to find some items to sell. We'll get back to the blacksmith in a little bit, but first off, we're gonna be bashing all the barrels in the place first. There should be some barrels over here. Somewhere, perhaps. It gets Get get out of my way, lady. Get out of my lay, man. What? Get out of my lay. Get out of my way. Yeah. There's a barrel. That's empty. I sense a pattern here, guys. All right. Barrel. Oh, hey, there's a rusty dagger. That's something I can sell to the blacksmith. And another empty barrel. I don't think there are any more in barrels around here. So let's just go back to the blacksmith. Or let's try to go back to the blacksmith. Yes, lady, you're kind of in the middle of the path. Uh, okay, we're able to get past her. And the blacksmith is over here and we'll be getting some... S well, we probably won't be getting shit from him right now. We'll be getting stuff from him later when we actually have gold to spend. Yay! Hail, good sir blacksmith. I am Kristoff of the Sword Brethren, and I seek to replace armor lost in battle. Ho there, young crusader! I be Jiri Borajov, 
and the very boards of me humble shop are honored to be trodden by a sword brethren. And who will ye be slaying in your new armor? Shall we be an asshole and say it's none of his business? Or, you know, we're doing this for the town. You might as well tell him about it. I seek to slay the demons in the silver mines to the east. You look a bit sickly, Sir Christoph. If ye do seek to spill the blood of the fiends in the mine, ye'll be needing special protection. The protection of the Lord suffices. I need no more than that. Ha! Tell that to your armor and sword. Nay, tis gypsy charms I be speaking of. Hmm. Now, Kristoff is going to have a little bit of a personal dilemma about this, right? Gypsy charms as a Christian? Ah! Uh, let's do, let's go with the neutral ground thing. Aid from a gypsy? Can such a thing be godly? Why, did not King Saul seek out a wise woman and her familiar spirit in his time of need? Yea, that very King Saul who had once banished all witches, sought a witch when he needed to learn of his future. She summoned the spirit of Samuel the prophet, and no mistake, tis in the Holy Bible. Well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get some gypsy charms. Well, we won't because they're all for kindred and they're all expensive, but that's beside the point. There is wisdom in thy words. I will go to this gypsy. You must promise me that the gypsy will come to no harm by my telling. Alright, we won't hurt the gypsy. I promise. Go ye to the Golden Lane, where you'll find an herbal shop run by the old gypsy woman, Unorna. There ye shall find something to aid ye surely. God be with ye, young one. Alright, and this is the blacksmith shop. When when I said we couldn't afford anything, I wasn't kidding. You can get a buckler, which we'll find along the way. A couple clubs that are kind of useless, and arrows that we won't have any use for because we won't come into any bows and arrows around here anyway. Yeah. Well. Oh, but we do have this to sell, so that that's something, right? Yeah. I don't think... Yeah, we only have 56. Alright. Good day to you. On the road we go. We're actually going to go across this bridge over here. It should be Judith Bridge, I think. Yeah, Judith Bridge. And this is where that gypsy that the blacksmith was talking about is. And look at all the people on the bridge. Oblivious to the evil that is abroad in the land, apparently. Mm, I don't see much evil going around right now. Although it is, it is the middle of the day, you know. See, it's nice and sunny outside. <laughs> yeah, nice and sunny. All right, let's go inside to the Golden Lane. And the Gypsy Shop is right here. You know, in her shop. Old timey spelling. Yeah. The shop of a Gypsy Witch. Dare I enter such a place? Yes, you dare enter such a place in point four of a femtosecond. I'm trying to yoink Ashen's line. Don't bother. Now here is the old gypsy Unorna. Let's listen in on her take of the situation. Hello, young one. What is it you desire? I desire only to bring the Lord's justice to the evil that has befallen this city. I would know of the devils that rule the night in Prague. They are vampires. The undead. The blood drinkers. Fiends to hide their miserable carcasses away in mines and crypts under the earth, for the very rays of the sun to scald the flesh from their bones. It is quite a sight and a stench, the like of which you'll ne'er forget. Then perhaps I shall show them the glory of the breaking dawn before dealing them their final mercy. Weapons cannot kill the fiends. Lest their heads be cleft from their undying bodies, you will need more than a buckler of faith to aid you. 
Alright, let's look at Unorna's wares. Healing salve, which we'll find a lot in the dungeon we're going to. Poison antidote, again, we'll find some. We'll find some of these. Huh. Says... Some scrolls, right? Except this one and all these other ones say non-kindred only. Hmm. Oh, that means it's for us, right? Yeah, we can't really afford these, right? But, hmm, maybe that implies that there's some items that are kindred only. Hmm, and this time there's actually... Hmm, there are no kindred only items here. Hmm. Actually, when I tested this out, there were. There is some blood here. here. They're obviously going to be playing as vampires sometime soon. How soon? Who knows? We'll figure that out later, shall we? Let's move along. Get out of this place. God, young one. And be sure to be within the warmth of a hearth when the sun falls. For the foes you have seen are but a small part of the wickedness that walks the streets of Prague by night. I shall send all such wickedness back to hell. Good luck with that, dude. I'll let you think that. Let's get out of here. And then back across the Judith Bridge over to our first real quest of the game. Alright. All these people are still oblivious to the fact that there's evil abroad in the land. That's what I'm going to go with anyway, because they're probably just, you know... He looks a little too fancy to me. Uh, Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, now our first real destination of the game should be across the across the corner. No, just no, it should be around the corner. I don't know where the hell I got across the corner, but don't mind me. <laughs> Alright, over here we have University, that will come into play later. You can't really go in right now, so I'm not going to... Wait, can you go in? I know you can't get into the lower levels right now, but... You sh can you actually enter the upper level of the university? I don't know. I'm not even sure I tried to before. Let's see. Oh, hey, you can actually enter it. There's nothing here for you right now that I'm aware of. No... Now, this place comes into play a little later, but apparently it's actually open this early on in the game. Hmm. The lower level isn't, though. That's going to be locked. I know that for sure. Anyway, let's go progress, shall we? Take care outside the gates of the city, good sir knight. For all those that wander the highways alone after nightfall are seldom heard from again. Even the strongest of warriors have disappeared. The streets of Prague are no longer safe after dark, but beyond the city walls all hell walks the night. Hell that disgorges from yonder castle of Viserot. <laughs> well, we'll be venturing into that mess very soon. Beware the mines, Crusader. If mere men could kill the Hellspawn, we knights of St. John would have slain them long ago. We lock these gates as the last rays of the sun die in the mountains. Pass within before dark, or wait without until dawn. I pray for thy safe return. I pray for my safe return, too. Anyway, do you have any other lions to feed me? Nope. Alright. Over here is our next, or is our first destiny. These cards still hold their ore. The diggers have fled this place in haste, and the fiends have not seen fit to continue such honest labor. That's because they're fiends, Kristoff. Alright, just throwing that out there. Now here is a torch that I am going to equip because it's rather dark in there. Yeah. Alright, onward to the mines. And this is our first dungeon! There's not much to the first part over here, till we cross a little bit of a passing over here. But, no, not over there. 
that okay, that's not open yet. That will become a little bit later. The odor of freshly mined earth is laden with the foul stench of death. Probably because people have died here, Kristoff. You know all those demons that we were talking about earlier with you, Norna? Yeah. People die here. So it's going to smell like death. And people are going to scream. And you'll get to hear one of those screams really soon. See? Told you. Very lovely place here, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. See? See? There's a dead guy over there. This is a very pleasant place. Yeah, let, let's go... Yeah, I almost said, let's go talk to the dead guy. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. What mystery lies moldering here? This poor soul died without a wound, save a bit of blood at the throat. Hmm. What kind of creature could cause such a wound? I'll give you a hint. Vampires. <laughs> Healing elixirs and healing salves. See, told you there'll be plenty of those around here, and you'll see plenty more of them. There's no point to try to buy any. Not like you can, because you won't have the skills or the gold to be buying anything this early on in the game. Actually, money is kind of a scarce resource early on. Alright, come on. You know you want to die. Oh great, there's a- oh shit. Well, let's heal before I die. That would be kind of embarrassing to die here. Motherfuckers! Stop it! I'm gonna die! This isn't dead I you know, drop some money and fucking move along. You actually have to load from a save file. This game is from, like, fucking 2000. None of that shit existed back then. <laughs> Which is actually a good thing, it's actually kind of a way too easy way to die, but this ain't Borderlands, people. Yes, silver coins for the masses. Please stop that. I'd really appreciate it if you'd stop bashing me in the face. Alright. Do we have. Well, I said we'd have plenty of these. Maybe I lied. Ah. I didn't have that much trouble the first time. Alright. Over here, we should have some... something. I don't know what. Alright, over here. Yeah, we got some healing salve over here. That will come into... that will be kind of important. Hmm, bags, bags! Bags of gold! 25 gold. Eh, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, over here. Wild oh. dogs? Nay! Rats! Yeah, those are rats. And you'll be seeing a lot of these. That is no joke. If this thing would die, that'd be fucking wonderful. Come on! Yeah, that one's dead. Stop biting me, I don't like it. Okay. Oh, shit. Where the hell do you come from? Ho oh, ho! Look who doesn't have a face anymore. Yeah. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see. We should have something up here. Maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, there's some healing salve. There's healing salve. Yeah, healing salve. I was right. And then some elixirs and one of those fucking barrels that don't have anything in it, I'm sure. Hey! I was right. It doesn't have shit in it. Kind of disappointing. Alright, down here. There's some jota down there. Let's get the items from over here. Oh, I know what that place is. It's a barrel, please. Holy water. Hey, it's something. And some coins. Over here should have a couple Zlachta to kill. Let's see if I can behead another one of those. That was kind of fun. Hey! I can actually give the damn thing. I didn't just behead him, I got everything chopped up. 
So did that one. Jesus. Alright. Here's some coins that will amount to one gold. Yikes, that's really not that much. Alright. Alright, progress should lie over here in this path. Should I, there might actually be a rat hole here. Yeah. Uh, not there. Alright, there's the rat hole. Rats. And they like to spawn out of here too. This is not all the rats are they gonna spawn out of this hole. Please die so I don't die. Yes, there are actually gonna be some rats coming out of this hole. That's what I'm saying. Nice to get some EXP off of these things, right? I'm actually gonna heal up a little bit. Maybe. Come on. There we go. I'm going to sway here for a few more seconds. There might be some more rats that are going to come out of this hole. See? I was right. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Come out. Come on. Eat your death. And that is it. And these are ghoul rats, which means there's some vampire out there that's actually using these rats as their servants. Huh. I don't know how I feel about having a rat servant, but whatever works. Unless they're trying to disease everything. And yes, these rats can actually cause disease. And I do not have a vaccine for them. Because apparently vaccines are used to cure disease. Because that makes sense. I don't know if, uh, the, you know, guys at Nihilistic know what a vaccine is. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense, guys. Uh, oh wait, there's a barrel over there. I thought there was something over there. More holy water. I swear. Alright, All right, that rat's dead. We're moving on. Or we're going to try to move on. Come on, let's go. Oh, there more rats, 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 rats hole. I think we're a little rat's hole. No, there's going to be some more rats spawning in this hole. There we go. Yeah. I can do that, apparently. Yeah. I wait here for a few more seconds and find another rat that's going to spawn in this hole. Jesus, say, rapid fire rats. I want a rat machine gun, damn it. Fire these rats off like a fucking minigun. Spread disease across the world. This is not fucking pandemic. This is vampire massacre redemption. Let's move along, shall we? Alright. See, I want these damn rats. Alright. Move along. We should find down here a healing salve for more healing powers. Mm, healing. Alright, moving along here. What do we have over here? Oh, hey, Jlocta! Missed you guys. Not. Jesus, there's everything in my... Yeah, there's some... Yes, you are dead, and... Oh god, you don't have a head. I'm not trying to rhyme here, but, you know. Things happen! And I'm Dr. Seuss, hi there. No. We have a treasure chest up here. Hopefully this one actually has an item in it! Oh, Rex. Wonderful. That will help us a little bit, I suppose. It's armor. The most basic armor in this game. There. There's your Rex. At least you have something on, Kristoff. Alright. Gather the inventory. Let's move along. And down here should be... Wait, what's that? Oh, that's where we came from. Yeah, we don't need to go over there. Now down here should be our way to... I think this is going to be the next area, if I remember correctly. 
And you know me and my memory. Yeah. Yeah, probably not the case. Alright. Oh, wait, we have this area. Wait, nope. Oh, rats. Yes. So, oh shit, you're gonna die if I don't heal. Yeah. You're dead. Damn it, you can turn around. It's one of the more annoying things about this, and you actually have to mouse over to the edge to turn. Yeah. But that might not be such a bad thing, and it's because I'm using a touchpad right now. All the mice in this house are dead. And I've ordered a new mouse, so hopefully this won't be much of a problem for too long. It's actually kind of annoying. It's one of those touchpads where the buttons are part of the touchpad and just a slight bit of oil will fuck up all of your mousing forever. Yeah, that. Thank you, HP, because that's what I really wanted. See, this is the next area. I'm actually gonna do... how much are we in? Oh, yeah, this heals exactly 40 if I believe. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And the second part of the mine. So we got a little holy water over here. Overshot it. Awesome. Pick that up. Thank you. Okay. Now we should be coming up here. Go up the ramp to find ourselves in an area with more fucking rats. Yeah. Told you these enemies are really common. Rats suck. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Nothing! Okay. Oh, another schlock. See, this schlock is bigger and has a big bone to smash your face in with. It's always wonderful, that. Please die and stop healing. That would be wonderful. And I'm, like, knocking chunks off this schlock to here. Yeah, okay, it's finally dead. I reclaim this treasure from the clutches of evil and reconsecrate it to a godly purpose. Yeah, that was, uh... We won't be using that shield. Not right now, anyway. Oh, hey, there's a... We picked up a rat. Not a ghoul rat, just a plain old rat. Non-human only. Increased blood plus ten. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. Yeah, you'll find out. Alright, go up here. I should get some items of some variety, maybe. Yeah, there's some holy water and healing. No, and there's some coins too, that's cool. Alright, not that much, but you know. Actually, I'm kind of curious, how much gold do we have right now? See, didn't really pick up that much. I mean, really won't be making the big dough for a while. And I do mean a while. Uh, Alright. Uh. Yeah, there's not much going on over here. Alright. I think that's where I came from. Uh, don't tell me I'm lost. That would. S oh, wait, up here. Alright. Alright. See another lovely scream. And you wonder why it smells like death. Dead. Wait, do we have a rat hole here? Ah, oh, no, not right now. Not right here. I know there's a rat hole nearby, though. I think there's one right here. Yeah, there's a rat hole right there. Perhaps I should be concerned about. Oh! Concerned about healing. Alright. Oh, stop bashing me in the face. That's not nice. Come on, stop it. Just want to be friends. Oh, wait, you don't have a head anymore. That's kind of sad. Oh, you don't have an anything anymore. Alright, there should probably will be more rats spawning out of this hole. Maybe. I'll stay here for a few seconds to see if that happens. See? Told you. More rats. 
how am I on health? Not nah, too bad. Yeah. Should be good. Oh, there's another rat. And, well, let's look at the treasure chest that's over here and see if we get anything good. Yay, we got one gold from that treasure chest. I'm happy. Yeah, there's nothing in here. The rats are done spawning, so we can move along. Or, I'm dead wrong. Oh, wait. No. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, you ran away, and then you're coming back. You are a cunt. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stop it. Oh, wow, I'm chasing the rat down. This is so dumb. Alright, come on. Wow. Thank you for dying. Alright, let's kill these lacta. Oh, shit. I do not disapprove of that. <laughs> Alright, onward. Now, I think there's another Zlacta down here. Probably another everything down here. Yep, there's a Zlacta right here. Hi there. You care to die for? Jesus. I know you hate them, Kristoff, but Jesus. Is that really necessary? Uh... Wait, where the, oh, that goes down to the mines level 1, which uh, we don't need to go to that. <laughs> Alright, another ghoul rat here. Should die really quickly. Alright. Now, there is a little area down here. Uh, hmm. Got a little Zlocta action going on. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I thought this was that one place, but it isn't quite yet. We'll be getting there soon. Uh, yeah, that is a disease vaccine. Yay, we get a vaccine that's actually used to cure a disease instead of, you know, vaccinate against a disease like a vaccine usually does. Semantics. All right. I no. I don't know. This isn't. The, no, we don't have. We don't have stakes here, do we? No, I don't, I don't think we're quite there yet. Alright. Down here. Another lovely scream. You gotta love those screams. Alright. Shlachta with the big ass bone ready to bash me in the head. I don't like being bashed in the head. I to concussions and stuff like that. See, I did get it as... I got it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And, well, I didn't die. Ah. Fuck a duck, a duck, a duck. Alright. I'll go ahead and use that disease vaccine too. Hey, you're dead. Alright, All right, that thing's dead as well. Alright. How are you in health? 52. Alright. We'll just deal with that. That was actually kind of painful. <laughs> Alright. Actually gonna, yeah, that should do a little bit. All right, should see a little better now. Some holy water that will be useful for the boss that's coming up not too long. Right, healing ointment. Oh, a club that we won't be using. <laughs> All right. Now, hmm, how the hell do we cross this? I mean, we can't just go across the water. It won't let me. It will not- yeah, Kristoff is not very fond of water, apparently. Hmm. See, there's a lever here. Let's pull it back, and then the water will start slowly draining away. And, you know, big- looks like it's being picked up by these things. It, well, let's try this again. There. See, it's like it's being hauled up, and it's just somewhere else. That's what it looks like, anyway. Doesn't make much sense, but, you know, it's a video game. Shut up! Oh, and speaking of shutting up, I think... Okay, what do we have here? Um... I want to use one of these and then let it go. Oh god, my fucking quick bar is filled with 
holy water. Not quite useful yet. We'll get there. Alright, we should be able to cross now, I hope. Get out of there, alright. But first off, I'm gonna wanna save. Because, you know, saving is always a nice thing to do. You're unsure if you're gonna die or not. You'll understand shortly. You can probably even see the enemy up here if you're really eagle-eyed or something. Ow! That hurts. Oh god, that really hurts. Jesus, man. Stop poking me with that, it hurts. Yeah, this, this thing's a little bit of an asshole, if you can't tell. Not too hard, but that spike on his arm is really freaking freaky. And we have disease, which means we're gonna have to use this. Hey guys, this is the first death of the game. I know you don't usually die this, e this early on. See, this is why I saved. <laughs> uh, hmm. Alright, let's do this damn thing. That was really stupid. Alright, onward. Let's try not to die this time. Alright. Please just die before you poke me with that big ass spike on your arm. I don't like big ass spikes on anyone's arm. And then just the you know, generic Lacta enemy that you'll see a lot of. You know, not too exciting here. These things will eventually die. Alright, there we go. And that one drops something we'll pick up really soon. Alright, what did he drop? See, uh, yeah, everything drops right at your feet, so it's kind of hard to pick them up. It's one of the graves I have about this game, but, you know. Alright, over here we have a barrel that probably has nothing in it. No, it has... It has another holy water, Jesus. Now, all the, you know, all the barrels in here have holy water in them, apparently. Interesting. Alright, enough of that, though. We should be able to go across... Go ac again, it's across this corner again. That's really not how you say that. Alright, we're gonna slice up that gelacta and then slice this one up, too. Come on. Die for me. Die, my darling. Thank you. Silver coins. And there's another Shalakta behind me. Looks like there's some sort of dagger-type weapon on the ground. It's a poignard, apparently. Hmm. There's actually a character later on that primarily uses daggers for some reason. She can have that. Alright. We're gonna go down here. Onwards towards progress. Mmm, delicious progress. And just some rats here. And oh, there's rockers there too. Oh god! Let's kill. <laughs> right. Diseased again. I don't think I can Oh wait, I do have one. Huh. See, that's not the... I don't usually have the problem of getting diseased constantly. Nor do I have a problem of using all of this up that much. Hmm. Alright. The Schlacht is gonna die. Cat's gonna run across the floor, apparently. Probably chasing a bug, no one knows. Or maybe just chasing a shadow, you never know. She's a cat! Uh... You got up here. Is this the way towards? No, it isn't. All right, there's a, just a grab here. All right, we have some coins here. Some silver coins, probably not going to add up to much. All right, we got 20 gold from that little thing there. And some stakes. Hmm, stakes. They're not actually as useful as you make think they are if you're on a if you're if you're not so much into vampire the masquerade well vampires don't die by the stake they get paralyzed by the stake just 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 and just get paralyzed and you know, kill them by other means 
And yes, you can get staked in this game too as a vampire, and uh, you get paralyzed for a certain amount of time. Or you, you can actually get fucked up. What is this? Oh, it isn't. Okay. Oh god! Oh my fuck! Oh my fuck! Oh fucking god! Alright. Haha! <laughs> this could be really bad if we uh, enter this boss without any healing items. Hmm. There's, there's a, I think they have, there's a couple barrels over there that might do the trick. All right, what do we got over here? Healing salve, yes. And then a rapier. Oh, actually, I think that's better than what I have. Oh. Okay, it does less damage, but it has more accuracy and a little more speed. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep I'll just keep my weapon, thank you. But uh, well, I need to do some arranging here so I can fit that in my inventory because I do actually want to have stuff to sell to the blacksmith later. That's always nice. All right, might as well use the healing salve now because I'm pretty sure I'm down low enough for that to. Not be wasted. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Wait, no. no, I don't think I. No, I didn't miss anything. All right, we're going down to Silver Mines Three, which this is where the boss is. This is gonna get fun. All right. There's this awkward-looking treasure chest. This looks like probably made by Ishimitsu. You can see a little skull in it. It's really weird. We already have rags, thank you. Hmm, can I arrange my items in any such way to keep all of them? Hmm. Is that? I can put that down there. Put that down there. Hmm. I'm actually not sure if I'm ever going to be able to- No, I only have sleep three empty spots, so... Yeah. I'm not going to keep the rags because I'm pretty sure they're worthless compared to a club. Alright. Oh hey, more healing items. We are going to... Well, we may or may not need these. We'll see. They're both healing ointments. That makes me sad. Alright. Now, there's nothing else here to pick up. And then down over here, we should be on the path to the boss of the mines. Yeah, we will be getting there. Shortly. And this is probably going to be the last part of this recording. We should save here first. Saving like a boss. Alright. He's nice and saved here. And we are going to go down the path to meet our fate or some such shit. Blasphemy. Let the builders of this mockery of a holy cathedral show their wicked faces. Out, blaspheming wretch! Taste the steel of righteousness! I am Aldra, the unliving, and I bid thee welcome to my domain. Although I have found thee an inhospitable and ungrateful guest. God strike thee down, she-devil! Accursed creature! Earth has no room for such as thee! Nay, the all the earth is all dominion. With every passing day our numbers swell, we shatter all defenses and corrupt all home places. But to me, she shall rule all the world, and everyone, mortal and canine alike, will tremble at our coming. Hell spawn, the purity of the holy places protects them from thy evil. Purity can be sullied, and holiness can be defiled. The masseuse of the visible shall awaken soon. Ye shall defile all that is pure, and leave corruption in his wake. In defilement lies his strength. Purity is sweet meat to him, as thy rich blood is sweet wine to me. Die, thou damned beast. God hath spat thee out of heaven in ancient times, and now I scourge thee from the earth. Die, and burn far from the sight of God. Oh, this is gonna be fun now. Let's use this against Azra. Come on, use it. 
Come on. Yeah, there we go. Keep using the ho holy water and it will definitely hurt Ajra. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, that shall do for a while now. See? It's pain in the ass to do this on a touchpad if you can't tell. See, good thing we saved here, right? Load. Alright, let's go down to the boss and skip all that shit again. I swear I'll get this boss beat. <laughs> We've heard us all before. Let's fucking not listen to it anymore. Alright. Yes, holy water. Spam it. You won't need it. Well, it can, it can be useful later, but you don't... Actually, I think the main method of actually killing this thing involves holy water. That's what I'm going to use anyway. Oh, you healed, you bitch. I don't have healing items to deal with that shit. Yeah. Sweet redemption of our lord is forbidden to the likes of thee. Thou hast no home now but to the eternal torments of hell! Alright, we actually got the boss killed. Now, here is our character advancement screen. Don't bother with faith, you won't be human enough. You won't be human long enough for that to be a thing. I will definitely up strength. And... I'm go a little bit of dexterity too. I actually think I'm gonna save the rest of my points for a little later. Alright. Now let's go pick up our spoils. We've got some gold. Gold? Gold, huh. Eh, oh, that, that looks like a creepy icon there. Well, the she bitch is dead, so, you know, you don't really have to worry about that anymore. Now let's get out of here and get back to Prague. An amulet of St. Jude. Tis an omen. If I redeem so holy a relic from this ungodly tomb, surely the saint shall grant me his favor. All right. I am going to leave now. Hmm. Yes, it, it, will t it will take you back to an early part of the first part of the mines. So you can quickly get the fuck out of here, which is really nice. Not all the dungeons do this, and I think this is really the only one that does that for you, but, you know. Out to the bon- oh, we have a new part of the quest. Return to St. Thomas. We will- re yeah, we'll do that on the next video. But right now, we're going to go back into town. Oh, it's these people. These people who didn't think I'd make it. Mm -hmm. Who comes there? Ah, the crusader ends his day in retreat. Back for another rest in the nunnery? All of Prague may rest. I have claimed the head of the demon queen. Praise be to Christoph, champion of Prague. It's really some unconvincing voice acting there. Anyway, we're gonna go into the town. And this is this is the end of the first video here. It's been, it's vamp, it's, <laughs> Let me try to speak that again. I'm Vampirium. This has been first part of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. And I shall be back soon with more.